Today of all days, I want to speak about human rights, and the Bill of Rights, customary law. I know you all think that this is one of my um, babies, as you might call it, obsessions or whatever. But whatever you like to call it, it means something else to me. It is my avocation to deal with issues and matters relating into people's welfare which arise from the erosion of people's rights, which has come about by mock legislation, suggested legislation, implied legislation and unfair rules. I want all of this to stop. We are not just going to blandly accept what people in politics say. We are not going to worry about what people in local councils say. We're not going to take notice of their sham practices when it comes to dealing with the people of our country. The people of our country deserve a situation and a lifestyle which is in keeping with what they have fought with for over the years. We want to take out the word tyranny. We are defending ourselves against a situation whereby People who deem themselves to be on a higher echelon can push people around on a lower echelon. It's not always as clear cut as this, but it is obvious from recent correspondence in recent years, over recent months, that statements have been made in the press and letters to the editor, for example, which imply that the local councils are starting to bulldog their way into certain situations whereby there are no witnesses to certain situations and people are being bulldogged along. And it is evident from my own perspective that what I have seen is suggestive that creeping into the situation is a type of what they used to call um, nanny state, but we have our own version of what happens to us in our own domain. We don't deserve to be tormented by people who have no authority to do so. And this is all too often the case that someone will try to wield authority into a situation whereby they were not really intended to be. To be on the outside or perimeter or demarcation of certain situations is something that maybe the council should aim at instead of actually trying to become involved in people's lives or to tell people what they should be doing when they we know what we should be doing we don't need people to tell us what to do and i really recommend strongly to the council that over the next few months and years that they regard the people and the permanent residents the citizens and other people no matter who they may be that they have a right to live in peaceful coexistence, not w with one another and with all the powers that be, and not to offset one lot of people against the other like it has been evidenced.